Hey kids, I hope you can help me because I really could use your help. We had donut day at the airport and I brought the donuts. I brought enough for everyone, but they did not get divided equally. Now some of the other pilots are not too happy and I am being chased through the sky. Do you think you could help me learn about division so everyone is happy? Thank you, this will really help me out. Here we go, barrel roll. To start learning about division, we need to recognize something first. Here we have an addition sign and a multiplication sign. Addition and multiplication are similar because they both build up. If we add, we are putting more in, and if we multiply, we are putting more in as well. Multiplication is repeated addition, which we have already learned about. Subtraction and division are similar as well. Subtraction takes away, and division takes away. Division is actually repeated subtraction. In this example, we have 15 donuts, and there are three hungry pilots that want to share them equally. We want to find out how many donuts each pilot can have and make it equal for all of them. The three in this problem is the divisor. Because three is the divisor, we will divide the donuts into three groups. We will do this by starting with three boxes and put one donut in each box until they are gone. Can you tell me how many donuts are in each box? There are five donuts in each group or box. Wait a minute, that seemed too easy. Is this correct? We started with 15 donuts and are dividing them among three people. By creating three groups and distributing the donuts evenly, we find that each pilot gets five donuts. This is amazing stuff and not as scary as I thought it would be. Another amazing thing is that if we know our fact families in multiplication, we see that five multiplied by three equals 15. Let's look at another way to do division using a number line. Here we have 18 divided by 3, and we need to find the answer using this number line. Think of this problem as 18 donuts that need to be divided by 3 people. We are going to start at 18 and count backwards 3 numbers until we get to 0. Each time we count 3 numbers, we will put a dot on the number line to show we counted 3. Starting at 18, we count back 1, 2, 3, and put a dot. 1, 2, 3, and 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 another dot. 1, 2, 3, and the last dot, and we are at 0. Now we can go back and hop from dot to dot and count the hops. 1 hop, 2 hops, 3 hops, 4 hops, 5 hops, 6 hops, and we are at 0. The answer to 18 divided by 3 is 6, so this would mean that each of the three people would get 6 donuts. Wow, I bet you did not know that there were that many ways to divide. This is amazing stuff, and now I can go land and help divide the donuts equally so everyone is happy. Thank you for your help. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh-oh. Uh -oh.